I'm voting you decide to I make a video about these little guys. So this is a lead diode. See that? I got very different size and shape inside. I got some uh, blue one, red one, black one, and uh, other transparent. And uh, particularly, this white one has a gold holding wire inside, and it's visible. But uh, for that other one, I'm not sure. But for that, we do some test, okay? And. Uh, Right now, we put on the scale to see how many material I got here. So strange. My camera is uh, there, but uh, I constantly look there when I look in the camera. I don't know. Uh, so, let's start. Okay, like I said, this uh, transparent one had some gold bonding wire. I don't know if you can see right now. Now it's very hard to zoom it. Right now, we will put that on the scale and see how many material we got. And uh, this is just a test video, I don't expect some uh, big amount of gold or silver. I just want to see how much I can get and uh, is that actually worth the take of the board or just left them on the board, okay? My hand is dirty, you see that? Because I work something right now and uh, okay. So we'll put that in the plastic cup. Oh, I got much more than I expect. It looks like ice cream. It looks like some funny cocktail. Come on. Now we put that on scale. Okay, the scale on zero. And uh, now we put that on the scale. Uh, 179 gram, gram. It's almost 180 gram. So now the next step is uh, to remove all this base metal because see that I got some wire here. I got a lot of wires, so I don't know what is better if I just burn that and crash him or uh, first remove all that base metal. So I decide I just for case first remove all that base metal, okay? Because uh, this is a little amount of gold, and uh, if I want to test that correctly, I will remove base metal, then I will go and burn. And uh, then I will go to burn that, crush that, and extract every precious metal from the inside because only precious metal is inside plastic. Okay, so let's start. Hey guys, for this step, I will use 
I put that in bigger jar. I will use uh, dilute nitric acid. So I got one part nitric acid and two parts of water. Water, and uh, now we'll put that inside. And we're gonna leave that for uh, some time to remove all that base metal, okay? Outside base metal. Okay guys, after a couple of days, stay all that lead iodine in the nitric acid. This is our dirty solution. We remove all the base metal from the outside. And uh, don't worry, everything inside that plastic, inside the lead iodine, stay untouched. See that? All that metal inside. So... I test the little amount of the solution on silver with the table salt and uh, no silver. So everything outside this lead diode don't contain any silver. So now I will just wash that through the mesh to this plastic net and uh, collect all that lead diode. And uh, this is the weight solution with a waste bucket. Then we need to incinerate all that fast, okay? So first, let's wash that. Okay guys, you see that? I washed that very good onto clean water. And you see, inside all the base metal inside that lead diode, uh, it stay untouched with the gold, gold bonding wire. So now we put that in some metal dish and we will incinerate that so after that we go to cross that and uh, process for uh, some gold and maybe some silver okay very nice okay guys so we put that on the stove turn on heat and uh, now we will wait for a half hour to incinerate all that plastic to dust to be some very crushy and uh, then we start to uh, rinse that, crush that and make fine powder for the further process, okay? Okay guys, so this is our diode and so crunchy, see that? But if you just crush it more little you see that start to smoke again so we got still inside unburned plastic just squeeze them and crush them with the fine powder and you see that amount is uh, very smaller than from the beginning and just repeat that until no smoke again when you don't have any smoke, everything is burned, no more plastic inside. Okay guys, so with this little beaker I got ash from my uh, lead diode. And uh, it's not too much ash, this is only a 400 milliliter beaker. And uh, it's okay, let's put that on the heat 